Oh yeah, that's right. We're back. D U Lacrosse. We have finally cracked the top 25. We're ranked 24th. We're getting ready to take on East Carolina. And your boy's been on a scoring tear. I can't be stopped. Hat tricks every game as a freshman. And we're doing it out here. We're going to keep it rolling. We're going to show everybody why we belong in the top 25. And they shouldn't have waited this long to put us in there. I'm just saying. So, here we go. ECU Pirates versus Denver Pioneers lacrosse. Let's go. Game five. Or, sorry, game four. Game four. And Denver's going to win the faceoff. And, ooh, horrible pass to start the game with. And that's going to be a turnover. And we're going to fast forward a little bit. Nick Phillips bringing the ball up for Denver. Passes over to Taylor. Taylor shoots, but he's uh, off target there. A little wide, a little high. That's going to be uh, East Carolina lacrosse ball. And now East Carolina is going to bring it up the field over to Steven. Steven's going to pass it up to Elmer. Elmer over to Harold. Harold shoots. What a shot, but an even better save by the goalie for Denver. And uh, here we go. Now Denver's going to bring it up the field pretty quick. They pass it up to Danny Logan. Danny over to Nick. Nick's going to find Taylor open in the middle, and Taylor shoots, ooh, just over the goal, a little off target, and uh, we're still scoreless here as we, uh, and they find Taylor open in the crease, he shoots, he finds the bottom corner of the net, what a tough shot, I don't even know how that ball found its way in there from such an awkward angle, but let's see where that go, wow, ooh, it actually looks like the goalie almost saved it, but it uh, bounced right off of his leg or maybe a stick. Looking at the replay, so Denver's gonna take an early lead, 1-0. Here comes East Carolina. They're bringing on the pressure fast, and uh, they respond. East Carolina responds. It's one to one, and they responded right away. So they weren't gonna let Denver get up on them like they have on some of these other teams. And uh, the Pirates are here to. Uh, they're not playing around. So Pirates win the face off. They pass it over to Leonard. Leonard up to Harold. Harold shoots, bounces off the ground just outside of the goal. But uh, East Carolina is going to hang on to the ball here. And uh, they're going to move this around the crease, find an open man, bring it back out. And uh, they're going to reset here. And he's going to take a shot from outside, but uh, not a good shot. Easy save for the keeper. And here comes our boy Taylor. He's bringing it up the field quick. His speed is hard to match. He passes it over to Jeremy. Jeremy out to John. John back to Jeremy for the give and go. And they shoot and score. Great play by that uh Great play by the Pioneers offense, man. That was awesome. Great give and go. Awesome underhand shot by DU. Fantastic job. That's great. Great offense. Look at this again. Mm. Mm. Got that top shelf. So here we go. Denver's up 3-2 in the first. Taylor's got the ball. He's getting a lot of pressure on him, so he dumps it off to Connor. Connor loses it. It's picked up by Steven for the Pirates. Perry's going down the field. He passes over to Dwight. Back to Perry. Perry's running in, he shoots, saved by the goalie, and now Taylor has the ball down by the crease, still in the first quarter, they're up 3-2, Taylor shoots, oh, he's just a little off, he hasn't been able to find the net like we're used to being with him, being able to see him do, but he's got an open shot right here, and he shoots, he had such an open net, how does he miss that, not only does he miss it, he steps in the crease, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter, uh, Taylor with five shots on goal, and uh, only one of them went in. So not the, quite the percentage that we were, uh, expect from him and not quite the performance. And uh, good move there. He made a couple moves, a couple juke moves, stopped by the keeper's foot. And uh, ECU is going to hang on to the ball now. They're bringing it upfield, looking to tie it up. They're down by one in the early stages of the second quarter here. Clinton over to Matt. And uh, Matt finds his man in the middle of the crease. But a uh, shot goes just wide. The Pirates are going to hang on to the ball, though. Here comes Perry out to Leonard. Leonard shoots, and he's also wide. And the Pirates, once again, are going to hang on to this ball. Bringing a lot of pressure to this Denver goalie. So Steven brings it up top to Kent. Kent down low to Perry. Perry's trying to make a couple moves. He shoots. And what another great stick save by the goalie. And Denver keeps the lead. And there's Taylor shooting a shot that's just way off. That wouldn't even have hit the broad side of a barn. He's open in the center. <laughs> nice. They found his man open in the middle. And uh, we thought, you know, it looked at first it was going to be hitting him a little too late. But he somehow got that shot off at another awkward angle in the bottom lower corner of the opposite side of the net. Uh, let's look at this replay again here. Great wraparound shot. Hard shot to make. 
Good job. Denver goes up two. Now up four to two with two goals by the freshman Taylor. But once again, ECU responds right away. Right away. So a Taylor goal res results into a uh, ECU goal. ECU goal shortly after that. And it uh, looks like another penalty. Denver's ball down by the crease. They're only up by one with a minute left. They find Taylor. Taylor shoots. Oh, man. He's off again. And we're just going to go into the second half here at halftime. And uh, it's halftime. Denver's up 4-3. Let's take a look into these stats because uh, Denver's had a lot of shots. Notably, Taylor's had a lot of shots. Look at this. 11 shots. He has had 11 shots and only scored twice. The stat column is only showing one goal, uh, so they got to fix that. I don't know why it's only showing one goal in the stat column, but not a good day at the office for the freshman here. For a guy who's been lighting it up on the scoreboard, and here comes the ECU Pirates scoring within five seconds of the third quarter. It is now tied up 4-4. Four to four. I cannot believe this. Uh, part of it, could we say, has to do with the lack of scoring by the freshman Taylor McNeilis and once again the Pirates score quick that's two goals in under 45 seconds in this third quarter for the Pirates and they're going to go from down one to up by one just like that uh and what I was just saying is you know it is part of this bad performance by Denver have to do with uh, the freshman not being able to make any goals and holy cow you are not going to believe this three goals in a minute by the ECU Pirates they're on a tear right now it uh, it's not looking good for Denver. It is not looking good at all for Denver. That's three goals in a minute, and ECU wins the faceoff again. Here comes Leonard, quick, and he scores. You have got to be kidding me! No way. The ECU Pirates score a fourth goal in a minute, and they're gonna go up seven four on the Denver Pioneers. So here comes Taylor. Can he do something? Can he bring life back into this Denver offense? No, he can't. He misses another shot. That is 12 shots on goal with only two goals. Taylor's going to pass it to Danny. Danny shoots, and he steps into the crease. So that's going to automatically be ECU ball now. Here comes Taylor. He's bringing it up the field. He's bringing, He makes a couple moves. Great move by Taylor. He shoots. Just a little wide. He's off target today. You know what? I, if if I'm the coach, I would just pull him out. Uh, he's taking way too many shots, and he's not making them. Uh, these are shots that could be uh, used by other teammates. Other players could be getting the ball here, making these shots. Um, they're relying way too much on the freshman, and because of that, it, it's cost them the lead big time. They are now down eight to four. They were up by one. It was four to three. Now it's eight to four. Taylor shoots great save by the keeper, but honestly, it was right to him. And they're gonna pass it to Taylor again. Taylor's got to get rid of it. He finds John. John over to Austin, who's wide open, but he's just gonna. Oh, he breaks in and he shoots and scores. There we go. That's exactly what we were talking about. It's now eight five. Uh, Denver's first goal of the quarter. They almost went the entire third quarter scoreless uh, after a four goal onslaught of offense in that first minute of the quarter uh by ecu and now it's eight to five uh let's see if denver can do something here here's taylor with the ball he's gonna take a shot and that's just off again he he's off his game um you know they, they relied on this kid to score for him three games in a row and uh today it's just not working for him he, he can't make anything and there's another good shot by denver though can they come back they were down eight to four, and uh, not too long ago, and now they're down eight to six with just a couple minutes left in the game. It's only a two-goal lead for the Pirates, and uh, you know Denver's kind of transitioning to that strategy that we were just talking about earlier: is uh, not letting Taylor handle the ball so much and letting some of these other guys get some shots in. Oh, but you know what? It might be too little, too late, because there go the Pirates scoring another one, going up three. And it's uh, now 9-6 to six with just under two minutes left. That's all right. It is doable. We saw the Pirates score four goals in under a minute. Uh, doesn't mean Denver can't do the same. But not when you leave a man wide open in front of the net like that. Where was the defense? Where was the defense? That is 10-6. to six. And uh, that's going to be the ball game, guys. East Carolina 10, Denver Pioneers 6. 
Uh, and this is going to be a tough loss. They finally made it into the top 25, uh, peaking at number 24. And just like that, they are going to be out of the top 25. And uh, not a good game by Denver. Uh, you can't fault the goalie there. Denver had lots of opportunities on offense. Uh, they actually limited the Pirates to under 30 shots, only 16 shots on goal. But let's look at that. Denver had 34 shots in the game, 18 of them. 18 coming from Taylor, the freshman. So you're going to have a freshman. I know he's been playing great, but you're going to have a freshman shoot half your shots in the game. That's You can't have anybody of one player shoot half of your shots in one game. It just You can't allow that to happen. Denver needs to go back to spreading the ball out more and getting back to what they used to do, and that's why they started off the season so strong. So horrible loss. We're going to have to get back to the drawing board, and uh, hopefully the freshman – you know, can can he get can he get past this? You know, this is important right here. This is going to be an important step in his career. This is going to be his first uh, this first hurdle that he has to get over. Will he be able to do it? Will he be able to bounce back from this slow scoring game, this game where they lost and they're relying on him, and he couldn't he just he just couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. He crumbled under the pressure, and he couldn't get the job done. So uh, can he get over this hurdle? All right. That's it for today's episode. We will see you guys next week for another lacrosse video.